Now when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said to his disciples, You know that two days from now the Passover occurs, and the Son of Man is to be delivered up to be impaled. Then the chief priest and the older men of the people gathered together in the courtyard of the high priest who was called Caiaphas, and took counsel together to seize Jesus by crafty device and kill him. However, they kept saying, Not at the festival, in order that no uproar may arise among the people. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me to betray him to you? They stipulated to him thirty silver pieces. So from then on he kept seeking a good opportunity to betray him. Now the festival of the unfermented cakes, the so-called Passover, was getting near. Also the chief priests and the scribes were seeking the effective way for them to get rid of him, for they were in fear of the people. But Satan entered into Judas, the one called Iscariot, who was numbered among the twelve. And he went off and talked with the chief priests and temple captains about the effective way to betray him to them. Well, they rejoiced and agreed to give him silver money. So he consented, and he began to seek a good opportunity to betray him to them without a crowd around.